Hey guys, my name is Martin Fenska and I welcome you to another of my Part of Exile crafting videos. I'm recording this during the one month flashback week. We are like 14 days in and for today's session I prepared all these amulets and rings. Uh, I'll arc them all. As usual everything is about above item level 75. So all these items that end up as garbage I'll be able to use into regal recipe and uh, get some currency back thanks to that. Uh, also, this video is uh, not meant to be about uh, pricing or evaluating these roles. So, I'll just unlock everything and show those roles. That's uh, all that there will be in this video. Though, I have to say, um, after recording some of these sessions, I had quite a few people asking me about how I'm pricing items and how exactly I'm earning currency. I will try to record the video about that as well, but for that uh, you'll have to wait for the next uh, four month leak or three month leak, depends on uh, what GGG decides to do. Decides to do. Uh, I was thinking about recording it earlier, but these one month events don't really have um, that stable economy and I'm not trading in standard, so I can't record it there either. So as I said, once the next 3-4 uh, month leak is up, I will try to record that video. Hopefully you'll find something interesting there, maybe something that will help you with, uh, with your trading. But um, I think uh, this is not important for this video. We are here to see how all, these, um, all of these rings and amulets will end up. So... Uh, let's quickly arc them so we can get through those rolls. Okay. Let's see how fast I can do it. Uh, missed one. Of course, on YouTube, this is probably not the most interesting part of the video. Let's just, uh, uh, if you want, just skip it. The reason why I'm doing this on camera is uh, just uh, to show you guys that I'm not faking any rolls. That I didn't add a ring that was already like rolled really well to have uh, some godly roll in in uh, the video. It's really everything started it as uh, as white and. All these rolls I'll see for the first time once we get to that same as you. Uh, I probably skipped a few already. Uh, one more tab. Here. Okay, so let's see how many uh, have I skipped. I think we should be left with 11 alks if I manage to alk everything. Yeah, it looks like I really hit everything. So, let's uh, have a look on those rolls. Start from rings. I usually start with rings because I tend to get better rolls on amulets for some reason, so I leave that uh, as last. And let's go. If there is anything interesting, nothing too interesting here. And I think I'll just. Uh, Stop only if there is something worth uh, mentioning. What I'm going after, um, I could use. Oh, this 
this looks interesting. High life, weapon, LE damage, rarity, resistances. This is interesting ring, real interesting ring. Um, I'm going with some uh, after something with the uh, high mana regeneration, high life, and some resistances for myself. With dexterity, it would be ideal. But I kind of doubt that I get something like that. I'm not just I'm just not lucky enough. Okay, what's this? This is not bad either. The previous one was a bit better. Well, this one is okay. -ish. Hmm, what about this one? Triple main stat with leech, but it's already uh, six property. Mm, it's missing something. It will probably sell, but um, yeah, nothing too crazy there. Um. Ooh, this is this is decent. Like mid-range weapon alley damage, tier one dex and int. Uh, the lightning damage is kind of low, but together with life and uh, cold resist, tier two cold resist, life is like tier three or four. But still, forty-eight isn't bad. This is a good ring. That tier one dex and int gave it a lot of value. This is probably sellable as well, just a few chaos. Okay, next tab. But I have to say that we already probably have rings worth more than I invested into this whole session. Uh, those alks I invested were worth, let's say, 3 exalts and like 10 chaos, maybe 15 chaos, something like that, with current ratios in this, uh, in this event. And um, some of those uh, rings there are worth uh, 2... Exalts maybe more than two exalts, so I think the currency is back already. So this is just uh, pure profit what we are, what we will be getting here. Uh, what's this? Uh, level forty, triple res, um, hmm, soluble for a few chaos, uh, can add life. Mana, mana regeneration. If this had uh, T1 life, I'm could even end up using it, but without life, it's nothing for me. Life, lightning, resist, life, leech. Yeah, sellable again, a few chaos. Same here. But so far nothing nothing interesting on this page. Hmm, this is interesting. All attributes. The role is not that good on all attributes, but uh, it's there. Uh, lightning damage is very decent. Rarity I'll have to check the rarity if it's um uh, if it's just the uh, one tier one roll if or if these are two rolls. And tier one lightning resist. If it's just one roll that rarity, this could be actually quite decent what else sellable but nothing too crazy down speed mana too low mana regeneration to too low gold resist um, okay these are interesting for me but um, these rolls suck
Hmm, this should be soluble because of that um, high strength on the ring. But yeah, again, just a few chaos. Was holy crap. Mm, tier 2 intelligence, tier 1 life, and um, most likely two tier 1 rarity rolls. Holy shit, this is amazing. Okay, this is uh, multiple X. This is insane ring. This is probably even very eternal exalting. Wow, really, really good. Uh, strength, enlightening, resist, tier 1 accuracy. Nothing too interesting here. Max dexterity, hold accuracy. Mm. Probably sellable. Uh, how does this look like? Tier 2 Cult, Tier 1 Lightning, Mana Leech, some some Energy Shield. This is solid as well. This is a decent ring. Can craft the uh, life. Yeah, this, this will sell for quite a few chaos. Triple main stat with a really good end. Oh, a few chaos maybe. It's missing what like one extra T1 roll something or higher strength and dex rolls. T1 fails, but that's more or less all there is on the ring. Fifty five mana region. Well that started good, but that's all it has. So, never mind. But I'm trying to keep an eye on that mana regeneration, I really need that. Uh, nothing interesting. What's this? Fierce life, mana region, fire breath, all are like tier 3, tier 4 rolls, but the combination of these rolls is decent. This is sellable again for level 38. Yeah, this is a quite good leveling ring. Again, couple of chaos. Okay, Topaz rings. Hmm, nice life roll, but uh, yeah, that's all there is. Okay, sure. fire and cold, but too low accuracy. Mana is decent. This maybe this will probably sell for some early build, but nothing too amazing. Uh, basically, just life, so nothing that interesting. Text in Mana Lightning, all okay -ish rolls like tier 3 and tier 2 mana. This is sellable, you can craft some more uh, decent stats. So, yeah, again, a couple of chaos. Tier 1 mana, combined rarity, though the rarity rolls are are kind of low. Max lightning resistant life life again on kill is garbage, even though the roll is high, so yeah. But still it's on kill, so that's uh, always bad. Uh, but I think this is soluble as well. Couple of chaos again.
Hmm. Tier 1. Fast, decent, cold. Uh, nice energy shield. Dexterity, cold trance. This is a good ring. Again, couple of chaos. Hmm, there is a chance that the rarity is uh, only one roll that is not combined. If it is, and it and it could craft or mastercraft uh, one more rarity roll, this might be worth something. But uh, just some chaos. Well, worth checking. Hmm. There's a lot of resist on this ring. Some mana. Lightning damage. Oh, sellable as well. Wow. Too bad that the weapon early damage is uh, this low. If it was like 30, that would be amazing. Because it has like all element damage doubled. And tier 1 accuracy. Too bad that there is the plus 1 mana gain on kill, which is just joke. Without that, it would be amazing. With that, still sellable. But yeah, the mana gain on kill really fucked it up. Oh uh, well. We already have one amazing roll. So it's. <laughs> Probably all we can get here. Still hoping for more, but can't be too greedy. Uh, tier 1 of Fist, Tier 1 Accuracy, Mana Leech, Mana Lightning Resist, Dexterity, all acceptably high. This is a good ring, decent ring. Okay. Too bad that the, that the energy shield and life are uh, this bad. They're a higher, be decent ring. Might be still sellable, but only a few chaos. There's a lot of resistances on the ring. Okay, so this is uh, the last step now. We are slowly getting to amulets, and we're looking forward to those. Hopefully there will be something interesting. It's a lot of decks, some resists on the amethyst string with the fist damage. This is soluble. Triple damage roll with accuracy. Not that high these rolls, but they're there. Some rarity high end. Or max int in this case. Salab as well. Oh, come on. Um, very nice weapon, early damage. Mediocre life, mediocre mana region. Same with lightning resist. Mm. The first glance, this looked like a good ring, but um, uh, life, mana region, and lightning resist are probably just too low. Uh, if it had uh, this life roll, it would be a different story. Again, low life, come on.
max dex, max uh, lightning resist. The evasion is tier 1 as well, because tier 1 evasion is uh, 101 to 150, bring can't get more. So it's uh, 3 tier 1 rolls on this. Uh, the cold damage is a joke. I still can craft a more mastercraft some more things. Oh, this is uh, this is a decent ring. Tier two dex, tier two life, life leech, um, some all rest though very low. Not sellable again. Couple of chaos easily. Average life, average mana, tier 1 LE, can still add something, mm, again a few chaos. Okay, diamond rings, starting to be interesting. Tier 1 life, tier 1 lightning resist, garbage strength, garbage rarity, ah come on. Well, still worth a couple of kills, especially because of its uh, because it's diamond ring. Diamond rings are just uh, a category uh, separate from other rings. Uh, this is a couple of kills easily, just because of that life, basically. Ah, oh, come on. Weapon LE damage with nothing. Ah. Uh -huh. Same here. Weapon LE damage and nothing else. <clears throat> And the last one, nothing either. Usually, I don't don't roll anything good in diamond rings. Okay, amulets. Let's see. I need something with cast speed, spell damage, fire damage, or a dexterity, high life. These are rolls that I'm looking after. This is good. Uh, spell damage with dex. Uh, that's that always works together. Uh, tier two spell damage, tier one dex. Uh, a lot of int. That mana gain on kill is just garbage, but still, uh, this is very decent amulet, I'd say. There's 70 int on it. That's pretty damn good. Crit chance, low crit chance with nothing. Right, spell damage, gas speed, garbage rolls. Life, mana, mana region. Tier 1 Chaos Res. Mm. Well, this still could be worth something because of decent life, decent rarity, decent chaos. It depends if the rarity roll is uh, combined or is just a single tier 1 roll. I'll have to check that. Double each with the rarity and nothing else. Hmm. It'll probably sell for like chaos or two because of the double each, but not really that good. Okay, Jade Amulets. That's more interesting for me because I could use the dexterity base. 
So let's see. Spell damage with uh, nothing basically. Uh, some crit chance with cold damage. Some okay energy shield, tier 1 all res. A bit of cold res. This is sellable for a few chaos. Nothing here. Spell damage, fist damage, that doesn't really work that well together. Okay, Amber Amulets. Hmm. Maximum crit multiplier. Some decks. Energy shield is kind of garbage, tier 2 fire resist. Ah, oh, a few chaos maybe. Tier 2 strength with a very nice lightning damage and 3% um, leech. That energy shield is garbage. But um, this will sell as well, I think. Come on, there has to be something good among these amulets. I mean, really good. Oh, well, this looks okay. The fire damage isn't that good. Fist damage is good. Armor, rarity. Mm. I think sellable. Spell damage, crit chance, mana regeneration is low, armor low, energy shield is low, and mediocre fire res. Well, it started really well with the spell damage and crit chance. The crit chance is not that high, but uh, still 26 is decent, but then <sighs> fucked up with other rolls. So, never mind. We'll end up in the real recipe. Hmm, the rarity could be only one roll. If that's only one roll, then this might be worth a few chaos. Like, add the second rarity roll. Maybe, but uh, nothing too interesting. Okay, let's um, move on. Almost. Decent spell damage, decent all attributes, some fire damage, but yeah, no life. No resist. Oh. Almost something I'd want. Uh, tier 1 spell damage with tier 1 fire res. Yeah, and fist damage doesn't really work with this, especially with that kind of roll. And some crit multi, but very low. Oh, come on. That fire res and spell damage are wasted on this item. Oh, come on. Seventy life with nothing, almost nothing. Well, 
maybe like a chaos or two. Crit chance tier two, tier one. All around uh, two percent life. Well, that's uh, the lowest tier, but it's there. In this garbage. Um, again, probably a few cows. This is weird something, but not that amazing. Crit chance, crit multi, life with fire reset. Yeah, those are good things together, but uh, sp the crit chance is just way too low. May sell for a bit, but uh, if those uh, first two rolls were higher, it would be very nice amulet. Oh well. Let's see the last few few rolls. Crit chance, lightning damage, and nothing else. And this is garbage. <laughs> wow, this is really bad. Okay, so this is all. There was one really amazing ring somewhere here. I probably will be able to find it. This one, this is really, really nice. I really like this one. Um, and um, yeah, it definitely paid off. I earned uh, or I invested. Let's say three and a half exalt, and I will get ten back from this easily. So uh, it was worth it. I hope you enjoyed it and join me for my next video again. And until then, have a good time and bye bye.